ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh boy! Zoom! So, yeah, right there. There's a playlist. There's also a playlist at the end, and it's gonna show you what's in this um, tricks up playlist. Where does it start? It first starts over here. Whoa! With what? Yeah. Oh, you guys want to see? Yeah, it's over here. Yeah. First, it starts with how to choose a trig sub. Oh, God, oh, God. And then it goes to one of my, um, like, really, really, really early videos. Yeah. <laughs> it's on, like, a whiteboard. It's so old. I know. So, if you want to see that one worked out, you're going to go ahead, you're going to click that playlist. When do you use trig sub? When do you use trig sub? You use trig sub when you see roots. You use trig sub when you see roots. Well, you use trig sub after you've tried everything else. Because trig sub sometimes takes a little work and it has some things that you got to remember. And that's what that first video is, how to choose a trig sub. So, that original video, that's old. Then there's some newer stuff in the playlist. They're on those cam videos and what? Ha! This one. I see a root. I try everything else. Yeah, okay. So, mm, because of that square, you don't have a DU DU situation. So you're going to try to rid yourself of the roots and that's what the trig sub does. So the trig sub takes it from the rectangular world, puts it up in the polar world so you can mess with it there, and then brings it back to the rectangular world so that you can... Um, Bridge yourself of the roots and integrate these type of um, functions. Ah, the next one in the in the playlist, yeah, this juicy example. I know these um vi these markers, they're uh, wet markers, and this one was so wet. Can you do definite integrals with trig sub? Yes, you can, and you can definitely check that one out in the playlist. Those playlists are totally free and they don't have any ads. I use them for my class. Oh, I use trig sub when I have roots. When I have roots. When I have roots. I don't see any roots, but that's what that rational notation is. That means there's roots. Ah! 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 Ah, that's kind of fun. Oh man, so this one, that is a root. You try to do everything, like you look at that and you're like, that's gotta be inverse tangent because of the plus. Ah. But it's not though, because of that extra copy. So every time I make a trig sub video, I'll put it in this playlist so this playlist will get longer, but it goes in the order that I just like um, showed you. So click that and see those.